I, I have a basic reply, you know, to, you know, the majority of the community that, well, you know, the assholes that are actually like penning paper about, you know, these things and, you know, the droid life community and everything and the people that are over there that are writing this shit because I, I came across an article and I just sort of, I, I'm not terribly offended, but I feel like Kellen, the bro, you know, who wrote this, like, doesn't get a fundamental aspect of things. Like, you probably think he's like so in touch with with everything, but my reply, and I'll link this damn article in the underbar, is like really rather straight to the point about all this. But you know, it'll take me a second to get there. You know, he says that Sony told the Verge that they don't plan to bring the phone to the U.S. and he said, "Well, whatever. This phone is the pre like the previous X, where it is absurdly expensive and only built for a tiny audience. Who cares about things like headphone jacks and SD card slots?" You know, it has been forever. It has forever been a device built towards supposed that there are creators who think they care about manual controls or using their phones as viewfinders for more expense for their more expensive Sony cameras. And I'm, and that's pretty much it. And I, I finally, I read this article, and the only thing that I could think is that Kellen doesn't get it. He doesn't get why anybody would care about the micro SD card slots. And it's, it's so stupid that, you know, I mean, have you noticed what's been going on with like prices of SD cards for quite some time? I mean, I, I'm aware that there's a lot of like low end crappy ones out there that you shouldn't get. But if you go with like the SanDisk, you know, And everything, and you know, he's gonna get excoriated in the comments section of Droid Life, like fortunately, because he deserves to be as it's OP. But you know, like I'm going in there and I'm looking at you know the price of the ones that I just got. I got like a terabyte for like you know final price eighty nine ninety nine, you know, in terms of actual price plus shipping and all this. And and you know, meanwhile, you know the the cost of actually going from like one you know, uh, model, you know, from like the 256 model gigabyte model to like the 512, that'll be like 300, 400 bucks compared to less than a hundred for a full terabyte of micro SD card storage. And, you know, th th this whole article that he's writing and has put out just doesn't, doesn't get the fundamentals of that, you know, which just really kind of bothered me about the whole thing. And, you know, I, I, I'm i definitely sticking with, with them, even if I have to go out of my way to, in, way to import, because I just, like, like I'm, I'm done. I, I've, I've been done for a while. I mean, there, there should have been warning signs that, that this had reached, you know, a, a point, a boiling point a long time ago. I mean, I've been pestering these companies to, to add these these features back and i've been ignored you know and, and accused of being a tiny tiny niche and it's like you know fuck you like micro sd is budget friendly your fucking your upgrades of storage any other way is going to be you know not going to be cost effective at all to do and you know it doesn't it doesn't matter ultimately if it's within budget it's just a fuck it's just a waste of money to do it you know and so maybe Maybe the Sony phone comes in a bit expensive, you know, at first, but, you know, this is <coughs> a lot more ultimately economical to, you know, basically upgrade via micro SD card storage, you know, compared to other options. And, you know, if this, you know, if this makes me a member of a tiny, tiny niche who cares about this shit, fine, whatever. But, you know, uh, yeah. you know, th the truth of the matter is that I, take pride in being a tech elite and 1337, you know, and more tech savvy than most people. And, you know, th th this bullshit, you know, is this kind of bullshit is why, you know, like I'm leaning in this direction, like, you, you know, and I've gone in this direction as, as hard as I have, you know, because it, it's, it, I'm not really, I, you know, I, I am, I am ultimately a power user and, and, you know, this whole thing is, 
is stupid and you know it's like it's sad because it, it's the only company making phones without hole punches and with micro sd and headphone jacks they make small phones you know like my xperia 5 3 so hopefully they make another xperia 5 or bring back the compact line even if i have to import it that's fine since there's zero competition at this point with the same features and i feel the exact same The exact same Samsung Google And I read back, I feel the exact same. Samsung, Google, and Apple can bite my dick for failing to include my SD card slot and my headphone jack. Never will I give them another one, another one of my red pennies until they do. I will import I will import the Xperia and switch to T-Mobile. Mobile and raise heaven and earth. Earth to stay, to stay on Xperia. <laughs> and then I had to write this. Somebody else wrote back, you know, the, the, he's getting what he deserves for it. You know, I had an Xperia 2, 1, 2, and 3, loved it, replaced it with an Xperia 1, 3, which I've had for two years now, and it still runs flawlessly. I plan on buying an Xperia 5 when my current phone dies, 6, he says, but I wish I didn't think it will happen anytime soon. I'm not sure why they hate on Sony. You should pick up one of their phones and try it. You know, it's expensive. He says it's expensive and does not offer anything unique. Yeah, it does. Alone, alone, the micro SD card slot, which lets you have a 1.5 terabyte phone, makes it unique. Front firing stereo speakers. Who, who else does that? Micro SD card slots are... are much, front, I, I can't believe this. They're not a relics of a bygone era. They're still sold at the fucking stores. You go into a fucking, you know, any grocery store with an electronics section and you can buy a fucking micro SD card slot. They're still in the fucking Nintendo Switches. They'll likely be in the Switch 2. You know, they are not at all a relic of a bygone era. You know, they're still they're still part of it. People still use them to this very day and they will still be using them in 10 years! <sighs> The, the whole problem with Sony is, you know, the, the Sony phones is that there was just no, like, marketing or advertising here in this, you know, the whole thing. I mean, somebody like me, like, had to become aware of the, the Xperia by doing a ton of research into what, you know, phones had, you know, the required set of features that I wanted it to have. And, you know, <laughs> they're, 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 they're totally getting what he has coming for penning this in the, in the comments section. And I'm just kind of like laughing. I sure care. An unlockable bootloader, headphone jack, and SD card slot are hard requirements for me for buying a phone. And yeah, I've gotten to that point myself. And the Xperia's are some of the only phones that offer that. And some, and some of those few phones that offer, offer that are some of the best by far. A square screen without any cutouts is important for me too. And the utterly fantastic cameras are a huge selling point on top of that. As for manual controls, no, that's just not an ego thing at all. I frequently use manual controls on all of my old phones, too, in order to get the better photos. In challenging situations, I absolutely love how my Xperia 1, 2 makes manual controls first class, and although it's not a big deal for me if it has an unlockable bootloader, SD card slot, and headphone jack, lack of screen cutouts, and if more companies actually sold it all with the with, with the removable batteries it's still a huge plus that the, the phone comes with such fantastic manual photography app and the quality of the cameras themselves is even better more important than the app itself i cannot use open camera to get manual controls on my other phones i can use open cameras to get manual controls on my other phones too it's the camera driver supporting the photographing in raw and this phone does that great as well so, no, I do very much so not mind them not selling this phone in the U.S. It means that there are a lot less good upgrade options available so far. Whatever, I eventually do upgrade right, this eventually slightly defective sealed in new box. 
because uh, there were a few discrepancies in the packaging, so it seems likely it's secretly refurbished. Xperia 2, which arrived just a week or two ago, I might need I might just need a slightly older version with the plus of those having better screens, or maybe import them, or perhaps something like in the one one plus Nord, Nord series will at least meet the bootloader meet the bootloader SD card slot and headphone jack requirements, despite having the worst screen like this. So no renewable batteries. You know, I've had a few Xperia. The build quality is very, very high. They don't disappoint. And at that elevated price point, they are a better platform. Yeah. And then everybody's writing back. You know, they're trying to write back. You know, an unlockable bootloader is is, is a bygone era. SD card and headphones docks are a hard requirement for you. When is the time, last time you rooted a phone? I Like a few weeks ago? <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> Then why do why, why do you need so much local storage? Like, why is this a question of why of need? <laughs> you know, like fundamentally, like why you know why want you know is is that is that not good enough for you? Like, does it have to be a fucking need for you to you know, ever justify you know using it? I mean, truthfully, like maybe maybe I am a tech dinosaur who is you know at this point and everything and you know maybe at 38 nearing i you know i still pirate you know a huge amount of music like you know soul seek you know and all the all the and the flak files and everything else that you know you might put on those cards is that not reason enough i mean especially with my incredibly eclectic taste in music you know like <laughs> You know, I can put, I can dump video content into it too and everything else. And, you know, I can easily fill that damn card up very quickly, very easily. 